Hey guys, welcome back to another new Plenty video. Today, I'm gonna go and take you guys along to the greenhouse and see how everything is doing. We're also gonna go ahead and water some plants together and I'm gonna give you guys some Plenty updates. We did have some really, really aggressive winds last night, so I'm gonna go ahead and see how everything is looking. I'm a little bit scared that the plastic got ripped off, but we're gonna go and check it out. Also, my energy might seem a little bit low, I am doing a fasting. <laughs> I'm not going to be eating for 36 hours. Hopefully, I can push for 48 hours. This isn't my first time I've done like 16 hour fastings, but I've never done it this long. And obviously, if I don't feel that good, I'm gonna break it. But I'm doing it to clean my body, to give my body a break. To I, I want to get into things called ketosins. It's like when your body starts eating the damaged cells and it starts rebuilding itself. Um, and I really, really want to do that for my body because it does so much for us. And we only have one. <laughs> and, um, also, I'm trying to lose some weight too. Like, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but, <laughs> and then I'm also not going to be drinking coffee. So theoretically, you can drink black coffee when you're fasting. But I drink coffee every single day. I think I just spit. And I want to give my body a nice caffeine detox. I don't know if that's a thing. But I want to give my body a break. I always consume a lot of coffee. And there's also this thing when, I don't know, but I... I, it's known there's research on it i just don't know all the scientific terms because i have a bad memory y'all know that um also fasting helps with that too <laughs> it prevents alzheimer's um when you, when you drink coffee every single day your brain does something and then which is not really a bad thing but when you stop drinking coffee you start getting some nasty migraines and headaches so i am expecting some really really nasty headaches coming up very very soon um, but that's normal because I'm not going to be drinking coffee, only just basic water. Um, really excited. Um, it's just a little host journey. And I'm saying it's because, like, again, my energy might seem a little bit dead and boring and just eh, but that's why. So let's go to the greenhouse. Alrighty, so I just checked the greenhouse. Everything looks fine. Everything's looking a okay. You can see how those are starting to stretch. I believe those are sunflowers, if not zucchini. We have some white houseplants in here and they've just been like thriving and honestly doing pretty, pretty good. Let's go check the back section. Yeah, they got some plants that fell. It's fine. E. Now the reason why I bought a lot of my plants at the greenhouse is because I kind of wanted a little bit of a break. <laughs> And then I also want them to grow up pretty, pretty big so I can chop them and then leave them here. And then I'll take the ones that I did from cuttings to back to the apartment. I kind of want to have some plant insurance on a lot of my plants. So if something bad, bad happens and I just got some backups in the greenhouse. Um, and of course to propagate my plants. Some little baby leaves coming in. My tie from where we chopped it, it's still alive. It's still doing pretty good. And I did notice this. I'm not sure if it's an air root or if it's going to be a leaf. The tie that we did from a cutting, here is how she is looking and look. She's putting out a new leaf. That's literally super duper cool. So she's still thriving and doing pretty good. So this one's not dead. I'm not really seeing any shoot, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna happen pretty soon. So theoretically, I do have now two ties, which is exciting. And hopefully I can make another one and so on and so forth. I mean, at that point, Literally, ties are so cheap now. Like, you can find like, a little baby one for like $80 to $60 on Etsy um, compared to how it was back then. So, yeah, doesn't really matter. But I really want to get my ties to these massive leaves. I want to get them super duper duper huge. Um, but it takes a lot of time. And also, it, it takes staking. Like, I got to stake it for that to happen. And then, here's some other ones. This is geranium. I already took some cuttings, which I'll show you in a bit. It's a beautiful outdoor plant. Mint, which I also just took cuttings from it. Fiddles, just putting out some new leaves. Um, we got this ficus here. Some new leaves as well. This girl is putting out some new ones too. Beautiful. Um, not everything's looking that good. My money tree is kind of like doing something. I'm not sure what it wants. I have been watering it a lot, so that's probably what it, what it was. I was, was getting root rot, possibly. So whenever I do water, I don't water it that much. Um, but yeah, I'm still keeping an eye on it. And then I keep staring at this. When I placed it to the greenhouse, this was nothing. 
and now it's doing the splits and neon. Here is a bunch of the dreams that I was selling out that I was propagating. They're super, super easy to propagate, also the mint and the oregano. They're just super easy to propagate. I do have a lot of golden potos because you know I love my golden potos. I want to hang a lot more in the um, apartments and I want to have some in the kitchen, which I need a lot for that. So I said if I propagate them in the greenhouse, it would be a lot faster. And they are doing pretty good. Um, it's just taking them a hot minute. So at this point, I should have just bought it <laughs> instead. So here's a lot of ceilings that were growing. Um, here are Sarama tomatoes. The date is when we sold them. I replaced them in the little packets. I'm really surprised about the jalapenos. These take forever. Every time I was a little kid, I used to always show with jalapenos. And now look at that. That is insane. So these are not the true leaves, these are baby leaves. I call them baby leaves. But true leaves is like the next set of leaves that's gonna come up. So that's super super exciting that everybody sees on some of them. Here are some bell peppers. This is not the 19, it's 23. I see nothing yet. And then over here we have sage. I don't see any sprouts. So I'm gonna take a hot minute. And then we have this is the polka dot plant by seeds. Look at that. We have okras. Now you can actually see some that didn't germinated. Um, I mean, some are taking a little bit slower than others. These are sunflowers. Yeah. And then this is mixed basil. So on these, these are pretty hardy. And what's going to happen, I'm just going like, to pull them out and put them in their own little pots. They're super duper easy to do so. Um, and then this is more polka dot plants. This is some yellow pear tomatoes. Cherry tomatoes. Super exciting. And then these are vencas. They're like a really popular backyard, I mean, outdoor flower. You can like switch it up and be like, oh yeah, I used to have those before. So these are vencas. That's everything on this shelf. Here's my mykins. Put this enjoy. Here are some hoyas that I was trying to propagate, but it's taking forever. Seba blues. I mean, the leaves are nice and firm, so that's why I know it's still doing it okay. Hoyas. It's literally taking forever, and I don't. I'm gonna show you guys another way that I'm propagating my pot plants now, because I use takes forever. Oh, and it takes too much space. Here's my boyfriend's little section. Lots of great stuff. Look at this beautiful begonia. If you're propagating begonias, you can actually see some activity going on. So that's pretty cool. And then I'm not gonna go with all of this, but a lot of these are papayas, and I don't know why it's missing. Because when I was watering the just bounce, so that's fine. A lot of papayas. There's a lot more other plants that I have. And here. We have just a lot of other random stuff. This begonia has been thriving and doing super duper good. It's gotten actually pretty big. Ooh. And then we have these anthuriums that they were gifted to us. They were having like a special that day in um, Green Gate. When you buy a plant, they give you a fruit and baby anthurium. This is my tricolor syngonium. I don't know what was going on. I think it was like root root or something, but I placed it in here, which gets a lot of bad leaves. But if you look, it's putting out a new leaf. So that's really, really good. I thought I lost it. Here's my Monster Peru. It keeps doing this. Every time I put a new leaf, it destroys the other one. <sighs> okay. Here is my Anthurium. Variegated Scandapsis. Variegated um, Anthurium. Look at that. Look at these big mosquitoes, but I don't think they bite humans. My Hoya Compact is starting to look a lot better. It was so compact forever, and I was starting to grow pretty good. Um... These are spotty. Oh, these are marigolds. You see a lot of the other goodies over there. I will show you what I'm propagating with these trays. This is my preferred method to propagate plants now, to be honest. Um, just random stuff in here, guys. I mean, look at this one. This one's doing so good. It's getting so big. I, I did came to water a lot of the plants because I know a lot of them are getting thirsty. And I need to water. 
There's a bunch of other plants, which I'm not gonna get to, cause like, yeah, so you guys already know about a lot of them. Just Sena, which is mixed with the Jade, Super Blue, Global Green, the Variegated Tridescentia, Golden Potos. Surprisingly, they're handling the, the light really, really good. They're not getting burnt. Um, that's the Golden Potos. Here is the Starlight Syngonium. Starting to look a lot better. Neon Potos. There's a mix of just random plants in here. Hoya Splash. And then my Monjula. It's looking pretty good. And then here is the very good ed, um, Green Heart Leaf Philodendron, Pink Panting Tridescantii, Hoya Chelsea. I think it's called the Hoya Chelsea. Bonnie Spider Plant. I don't think this one likes too much light. I think it's getting a little bit. I'm gonna check it in a bit. So we have some orange marigolds, which has something, this is like on a different plant, it's not a marigold. But you can kind of see their true leaves coming in. Here's another tray of mixed beige. It has the purple, dark beige, and then it has some other kinds of varieties. This is cilantro, the slow bolt, so it can handle a little bit of heat. Orange marigolds. My mom wants a lot of these, so I'm gonna basically give her an entire tray when it's ready. So here are a bunch of plants that we're propagating over here. We have some Jacena potos, my favorites, um, green heartly philodendron, oh no, lemonine philodendron, I believe. And then Mosaro Sotipicana, which is still looking pretty good. I started to put out new leaves. I did these a week ago. Um, and then, yeah, I'm just experimenting with everything, to be honest. I'm trying to probably get this one. And this one's looking a okay, which is the Burger Discondapsis. Some Anjulas, some Hoyas. Some of the Tridescantia because it's so pretty, I need more of them. And then some Hoya of Avada Splash. And then some other variety of Hoyas. And then a green lemon lime um, So Yeah, it's just been a mess. And it's just something like really fun and to distract myself a little bit. I love to come here whenever I can. It's like a eight minute drive. And just look at other plants and get lost a little bit. <laughs> I still haven't had my little moments with an iced coffee. I've been wanting to do that in here, like sit in that chair um, and just drink a nice coffee. But I'll do that one of these days. So, yeah. Um, what else can I show you? I think I showed you guys everything, almost everything. Things are doing A-OK. -okay. Um... It has been a little bit chaotic with the weather. It's it gets super duper hot. It's currently ninety percent uh, ninety like ninety one Fahrenheit, and then twenty percent humidity, um, which is not the best. Here are some plants that I just like eat, but I don't want to throw them away. So, but you can kind of see some new growth happening. And then over here we have this one, just doing a okay. I need to do a little cleanup on it. I love my air plants. A little propagation box. Um, Mikeins, hello Mikeins. And then I'm trying to propagate this one. And there's some other stuff in here. I don't even know what I'm doing. I just shove things randomly because it's a greenhouse. You can literally just shove things everywhere and see what happens. <laughs> but this is a pretty good thumbnail to be honest. Uh, okay, I got my thumbnail. What else can I show y'all? It's just that. I mean, this jewel orchid is just going crazy, bonkers. This is just so exciting. Cannot wait to see how it looks. I just love how this like bump feels. I don't know why. It's just super exciting knowing that it's going to be a new leaf. And this is where I cut it from. The roots are starting to reach over here. It's kind of annoying. I'm really curious how this one's gonna... Maybe I see a bump over here. I don't even know. Maybe I think it's gonna be on this side, to be honest. And then here's a burgated range of pepperonia. It's putting out some new leaves. We got the milk confetti singonium, I believe. You know what I noticed? The green holly philodendron, it's so hard to propagate. Like, if it's not in a very humid environment, like in a propagation box, it takes forever. I've noticed that, girl. Also, 
Yes, it looks bad. This is the one that we got from Clarence. I don't know if you guys remember. It's one lots. I'm like, oh. But she's from Clarence. This one is putting out a new leaf, but she's going through something. <laughs> um, that one as well. I mean, this one was really, really ugly. And that was looking pretty good. It's a Manjola Potos. With different cuttings a long time ago. And it's looking a lot better. It's going to get super, super pretty. This one, too. Look at that. And then here's a orchid. Let's start up it all. And that's it. I'm trying to see, like, I don't want to miss anything else. Um, so what's going to happen next, we're going to put a lot of the plants outside so they can harden off. Um, and grow. Because a lot of them need lights. So you can see how that's stretching for lights. The tomatoes and the, and the tomato trays and the jalapenos. The tomatoes are going to be faster. So what's going to happen, we're going to go ahead and... Once they have, like, a decent size... We're gonna pull them out and put them in these pots um, and then set them outside to harden off when the weather is nice, which should be within two weeks. Um, the jalapenos, same thing as well, but they just took a hot minute. I'm really, okay, so these are jalapenos, just ser serrano. I think it's the same thing to be honest. I just didn't put serrano, but there's just so many. You can see how like some of them have a little sea stuck. I feel like when I'm watering it, it's gonna like make it soft. Yeah, just exciting. Not everything's gonna succeed, and I knew that was gonna happen, but it's just a little fun hobby, you guys. It's a little fun hobby. I love Manjolas. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and water. And I think that's basically it for this video. Just wanna show you guys how the greenhouse is doing. I think I might open the windows. I guess use these palos and I put it against that little piece of wood and it opens. Um, so the greenhouse has airflow because I don't want it to get too hot. 90 is already really hot. Um, so, yeah. Look at that. That is oregano. It propagates like crazy. And it smells really, really good. Really good. Hey guys, that is basically it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Get a little sneak peek on the greenhouse. It's not as crazy as like I wish it would be right now, but there is some stuff happening. And again, it's only been, it's about to be like three months. Three months, oh my God. It's about to be three weeks of us being in that greenhouse. He's probably gonna smell me like crazy because I was playing with my grandma's dog. Yeah, he's like smelling like crazy right now. It's probably Yeah, I hope he doesn't freak out. Like, can y'all see this? <laughs> it's per. Oh, he's very like edgy. I just washed my hands. He's like sniffing that side of the pants because. He was right there the entire time. My grandma says, dog, I was just petting him and we were just talking. So, um, that's basically it for today. Uh, right now, I'm going to go to Lowe's and come a really fun big box type shopping video for y'all. I might go to Home Depot as well, possibly. I will see what's going to happen. I'm like, I was this close on drinking black coffee, but I was like, no, no. Even though I can, I'm just trying to be extra for the black coffee, but I can theoretically have black coffee. I guess because it's still going to happen, the cleaning process, which is what I really, really do want. Um, but I'm trying to be extra. I'm trying to be an overachiever. So, yeah. But, yes, I'm going to go to Lowe's right now in Home Depot. I might post the same video for y'all. Um, now we're going to see this. I'm going to see this video today. And then I'm going to post that video tomorrow. And the following day, I think it's going to be plant choice. So, we're getting back on the grind of creating really fun plenty content for y'all. Trying to get everything very, very exciting because <laughs> it is spring. But um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. It's been positive advice to each and every single one of you guys. And I'll see you in the next one.